What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hoop Jargon back with another video. And before I get into the content, I want to ask what I always do. You know what time it is, man. If you take a sec to like, comment, subscribe, that'd be awesome. That helps the channel. All right, let's get it. Now, I just want to cover real quick, you know, with the uh, situation with the fan dropped the bag in an epic way. This man dropped the bag real tough. And excuse the background noise. I'm actually at the airport right now. I'm flying from my hometown, Houston, back home to L.A. So it's a little bit backgroundy. So y'all keep rocking with your boy. I'd appreciate that. But, yeah, so the fan, you know, caught the, the, uh, the, the game ball for the 600 touchdown. And he basically got bullied a little bit into coming off that ball. And it's just, a, in my opinion, a way how you show how some people don't understand the moment. The moment is it is for you to have an opportunity to have a swell of money that you normally would not. And I'm going to go into a little bit about how he got swindled a little bit. <laughs> and it's just it's unfortunate, but the boy got got, man. And um, we'll get into that on, on the back end. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. I've never gotten the ball before. Um, and then giving it up was tough. Uh, the trainer came over and asked for it. But uh, like, what am I going to do, say no to Tom Brady? Um, so he asked for the ball back. Um, I didn't really need the ball. It was cool. I got to hold it, take pictures with it, all that sort of stuff. And then Tom Brady wanted it, so I gave it back. Welcome into the um, Did you have to think twice about it? Did I told him. I told the trainer no twice. But finally, I said yes. And so, how did he convince you? He just asked a couple times. He said Tom Brady really wanted it. I was able to take pictures, all that sort of stuff. Um, he said Tom Brady might come over and say hey, thank me. Uh, so hopefully I'll get to shake his hand at least. There you go. Did they offer up anything specifically yet, or are you just kind of waiting to hear that? Uh, they said uh, maybe a signed jersey. Hear back. Okay, okay. And so you said you don't come and sit in the front row. Bruh, can you say fumbled the bag, missed the assignment, coach, sub me out. <laughs> Listen, family, you let this trainer ask you three times and with the promise to possibly meet Tom Brady and to get some signed jerseys and stuff. Listen, man, there's a such thing called a free market, the free enterprise market. Listen. You could have got so much money for that ball because it's a part of history. And uh, listen, guys, I'm all for us being fans of, of sports. Obviously, that's why I have this channel. But you got to understand, us normal people, quote, unquote, these be your chances to cash in, and you don't do it because you acquiesce to people who are already rich. Tom Brady's already rich, worth over, and again, I'm probably lowballing, $50 million. His wife, Giselle Bunchen worth um, over $50 million. This dude got first world problems to the nth degree. <laughs> he don't need money, man. He don't need these trinkets for that. Paging or paging if he wants it that bad, you know what? You're going to have to break me off, brother. Sorry. Sorry, brother. You're going to have to break me off. And it's unfortunate that this brother missed out on this money. And as you see on this article I'm going to post, it's estimated he missed out on a $500,000 bag. $500,000. Listen, man, that's life-changing money for normal people. And you missed it because you got emotional, you got caught up in the moment, and they finessed you, brother. They finessed you. <laughs> oh, my God, you got finessed. Because cause this is how it does. It, it makes you feel like, oh, you're helping Tom out and all this. No, 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 no. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this quote I heard from Le LeVar Ball. As y'all know, I heard with LeVar. He was like, never feel bad for the man in the Maybach. And I take that to gospel. So Tom Brady, with your superstar wife, supermodel wife, I'm sorry, with all those things, all this money you have, all this ballyhoo, all this acclaim you have, sorry, sir, I don't feel bad for you, dude. <laughs> I don't feel bad for you, dude. So if you want this ball, if this ball is that important to you, you're going to have to break some bread. Sorry. It is what it is, man. So I just want to cover this story real quick, man. And, and, and I hate – well, it's unfortunate that he got finessed in a moment like that, but that's life. That's how things go. If you don't have prudence, if you don't understand the moment and cash in properly. But your man fumbled a $500,000 bag, man, potentially, and he got a jersey. <laughs> 
and maybe a handshake from Tom Brady. Bruh. <laughs> you blew it, homie. But anyway, man, as always, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit the hoop jargon up, man. I, I appreciate all y'all who patronize the page. And I'm sorry for all the background noise again. I'm at the, at the um, airport. But we making it work, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. Till next time, hoop, I'm out.